When I was 48, I was making plans for the next 40 years. I felt good and strong. When I was 49, I was making doctor's appointments. I had a tremor in my leg and my body felt different. Something that seemed right. The year before my diagnosis, I spent countless hours in and out of doctor's offices, hospitals, clinics, MRIs, ultrasounds, EMGs, virals and barrels of blood, endless testing. We've all been through that. That's why we're here today. Getting a diagnosis seems to be getting further and further out of reach than did. I thought we might never get there. The anticipation, the waiting, the not knowing, there is a very specific pain that comes with the uncertainty of not having a diagnosis. My loved ones shared this pain. I was progressing quickly. I was in limbo. Three days before my 50th birthday, I was diagnosed with ALS. My life changed in an instant. The 4th of November, I was diagnosed with ALS. The 4th of November, I accepted that my 40-year plan were now potentially two to five year plans. The 4th of November, I decided that ALS was not going to define me. I'm not going to sit here and let life pass me by. I'm choosing to get out and see the world and what it has to offer while I'm still able. With the help of my wonderful community in Hood River, I will accomplish that dream. While I'm traveling, I hope to bring awareness to ALS and the big fight we have ahead to find a cure. Many of my friends and family didn't know what ALS was. They had heard of it, but they didn't truly really know what it meant to be diagnosed and be living with the disease. My friends and family now know the struggles of ALS, and I will do my best to continue to educate people around the country about this disease. I know I can't reach everyone, but together we can. I wish I could go back and tell myself to not take simple things like breathing and jumping, and even walking for granted. Today I'm only able to have the ability to walk. Oftentimes in life we don't get to choose the path our journey will take us. Believe me when I say how badly I wish I could change the course. ALS is a fearful disease. I decided to switch my attitude. I will track on. I will make the most of it. I told myself that the mountains ahead of me are nothing more than a bump in the road. It won't be easy. I will get tired as I walk towards the finish line, but at least I'm not walking alone. I have the support of the wonderful family and the community with me. We are here to raise money to find a cure for ALS. So that one day people who have been diagnosed with ALS will be able to run, jump, and walk without the fear of losing their ability. Those of us with ALS are traveling faster than most. It's like we're on a bullet train, going for life. We must soak up every morsel, every detail, touch, taste, smell. We will etch every beautiful viewpoint and memory, handling each image with care. Please don't rush through life. Take that leisurely drive, enjoy the view, roll down the windows and feel the wind. And be sure to wave when our paths cross. We know how our journey may end, but let us work together and change the path. It will become a path that leads to the mountains where we all walk and run. Today the sun is shining. I'm surrounded by hundreds of new and old friends. We may get tired, but we will cross the finish line together. Today we walk together, so tomorrow no one has to walk alone.